Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tourney here, your host, and welcome back my friends to a brand new episode on the channel. So the entire COC community is going mental today as we have received a teaser from Supercell a couple of hours ago. Every single player should have received a broken boat inside of their base. Now there was a new teaser trailer which was also released at the same time the boat was put in. And if you want to check it out, all you need to do, click the info button click find out and that will take you over to YouTube to the official COC trailer where you can check out what the boat is all about guys but I've got a question for you my subscribers what I want you all to do let me know down below in that comment section what sound hall level are you and do you have a broken boat in your base I want to find out is the boat available at every single town hall level or is it only for example town hall 7 8 9 10 and 11 so let me know down below in the comment section what sound hall level are you and do you have a broken boat? Now, just out of interest, guys, let's go ahead and check out my Captain Tony account and see if he has a broken boat. Well, see if my mini account has a broken boat, guys, because that is currently Town Hall level 7. Does it have a broken boat? It appears not. So do Town Hall 7s have a broken boat? Now, I actually logged on and checked and found out it does have a broken boat, but for some reason, you cannot see anyone else's boats, guys. So let's just make sure that is correct. Let me check out... Another town who 11 in my clan, Lewis the Pen. And I cannot see his boat either. So for some reason, Supercell doesn't let you see other people's boats, guys. I'm not really sure why. Strange, a little bit strange. I really don't know. So obviously, if you have made it this far, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Because I've got a feeling we are going to find out, finally, what this boat is all about in a couple of days' time. I've got a real great feeling there are some YouTubers in Helsinki right now doing the sneak peeks, I'm guessing, guys. So uh, make sure you stay tuned to the channel, turn on the channel notifications, subscribe to the channel if you want to find out what the first sneak peek is going to be. But for now... Let's do this guys, it is currently the lightning event going on inside of the game, brew lightning spells at a discount and something I haven't tried really ever since I first downloaded COC was lightning spells with dragons. So we're going to try a few different troop combos, see if I can maybe try something different as a Town Hall 11 and incorporate a new strategy onto the channel. So let's brew ourselves those spells. We've got the heroes, the spell factory and the barracks boosted guys, so let's do this. Do me a favor, if you've made it this far into the episode, guys, and you have got a boat inside of your base, leave a like on the video. Let's see how many people have got boats in their bases, guys. Drop a like, and let's see what the like counter says. So I'm not sure if this is a good base to attack, because it does have two single target Inferno Towers. Will they completely wipe out my dragons? I'm not really too sure, but I've got a good feeling about this, guys. What we're going to do, we're going to see if we can somehow funnel in and take out some of these, uh, the Eagle Artillery, the Inferno Towers. And we're going to do that by simply lightning one of these air defenses. I think I'm going to take out this one here on the left hand side. So let's drop the double lightning and also the Earthquake spell. Now that should take out that air defense, guys. And the air sweeper goes down with it. So with that taken out, what I'm going to do now is actually drop in a single dragon just about there just to take out those buildings. Barbarian King going to go in just behind with the Archer Queen very shortly. And we're going to see if we can get a good funnel going, guys. So let's do this. Here we go. Barbarian King is up front. There goes the Archer Queen just behind. Dragon has destroyed some of those buildings on the left-hand side, guys. Now we just need to get this Barbarian King into the base. And hopefully he can really do some damage. So he's currently taking on that level 8 skull wall. There goes the Barbarian King's ability. There goes the wall, guys. The Archer Queen and the Barbarian King going to flood into this base. Let's see if we can get a very high percent two-star on this Town Hall level 11. So the Archer Queen seems to be pretty close to the uh, to the Eagle Artillery, guys. But I don't think that is going to be taken out. But check it out if we can grab ourselves. Wow. Triple Giant Big Bomb. That's impressive. But... We've got ourselves a nice little spread and we should be able to possibly take out the, uh, you know, the majority of these buildings, guys, and hopefully head for the center where the single target and the eagle artillery are located. We've got a triple rage bell. Could be cool. Let's do this. So we're going to go three dragons and then the rest of the dragons and the grand warden going to go up on the wing. Going to drop down two rage bells really early, guys, and we're going to save the last one. For the center where the eagle artillery and of course the inferno towers are we're also gonna save these uh oh there goes the grand warden's ability saving the grand warden from being killed 
by that air mine, guys. So there goes the first single target Inferno Tower. These level 6 dragons, OP as hell, guys, going all the way to take out that second Inferno Tower already. But they're also locked onto the Town Hall. Can we take down that Inferno Tower? Here we go. There it goes. And a 58% two-star secured already. Not too bad. Not too bad considering we were using lightning spells, guys. This seems to be a great attack strategy. Usually guarantees you a two-star against Town Hall level 11s. The only problem I have is deciding whether to take on single or multi-target Inferno Towers, guys. And that's going to end us at 64%. Two-star on the base, and we've also got some precious Dark Elixir. I've got a feeling Dark Elixir is going to possibly be important when it comes to building the boat, guys. But maybe I'm wrong. Could be completely wrong. Maybe it's just going to cost Elixir like the Clan Castle, or Gold, sorry, like the Clan Castle. Who knows? Let me know what your opinion is. But let's get ourselves into a second attack, guys. This time... Let's kind of change up this attack strategy. So what is something we've never used with lightning spells? I don't really know. Should we set ourselves an impossible challenge? Could be interesting. Why don't we try this? Why don't we try a huge, a mass balloon army? So we're going to go with 30 balloons, a single hound, one lava hound, 30 balloons, guys, and a couple of baby dragons, some minions, and I'm going to bring myself some lightning spells. And we're going to see if we can actually invade a Town Hall level 11. But I'm going to try and maybe take out these air defenses, guys. And kind of swarm the base using a large amount of haste spells. A single rage spell. Looks like this could work. I think the heroes are just about ready. No, they're not. We do need to gem them, guys. So there goes the Archer Queen, Barbarian King, and of course the Grand Warden. And we can get ourselves into this second live attack using a different kind of combo this time. And I think we're just about to grab ourselves a star bonus as well, which means more Dark Elixir for me. So that's great for any of you that have made it this far into the episode and haven't yet subbed to the channel. Pretty much, we only have one thing left to upgrade in the base, and that is a poison spell, and it requires Dark Elixir. So I'm going to go for this base. I want this dude's Dark Elixir. Let's see if we can take it, guys. So... Looks like we are going to be taking out. Actually, no, let's skip that. That base looked kind of horrible. Here we go. Even more Dark Elixir has been located. This is one of those strange bases which has, like, loads of defenses and buildings around the outside. How are we going to take this on, guys? How can we combat this? I'm not really too sure, but I'm sure we're going to be getting a two-star. So, let's do this. Nice and easy. Take out that Eagle Artillery. Sorry, take out the, uh, not the Eagle Artillery, I wish. Take out the Air Defense, guys. So there goes one Air Defense. And it looks like we are going to be taking this base on from the right-hand side. So to start this off, we're simply going to drop in... Ooh, ooh, loads of air mines there. That's kind of sad. But we've still taken out that. And we also grabbed a lot of buildings. And we've got a Clan Castle. Perfect. Okay. Great start, guys. Now, let's draw this CC out over here using a minion. Hopefully, not going to attract that archer tower. Yep, so we're going to kill the clan castle using... I've got a feeling we're going to use a balloon. Let's see if we can bunch all these troops up. Maybe use a balloon, guys. First off, though, let's use a baby dragon. Take out those pesty little archers. They're just annoying. And hopefully get some of those wizards. Yeah, there's a lot of wizards here, but we can bunch them all up. And now we can drop some balloons. It's a balloon parade on their heads. And there goes the majority of them. Maybe two more wizards. Can they take that one out? Yep. But it didn't get them. That's cool. Let's just drop some minions. And you know what? Let's go with another baby dragon, guys. And there we go. We've only got two minutes remaining, though. Let's drop in a barbarian king over here to make a funnel with the archer queen. And hopefully they're going to take out the majority of those buildings. Three more balloons, plus an additional one on the Archer Tower. There goes the Barbarian King's ability. And it looks like there should be a successful funnel going into this base. So, let's do this. Now we got a funnel going, guys. It is time to drop in these balloons. So there goes the Hound. There goes the Grand Warden. There go the Minions. And we're going to use these haste spells really early. Trying to get these balloons moving. Here we go. Let's find out if we can do this, guys. A Rage Spell and another haste spell into the center. Let's do this. Come on, balloons. Here we go. Here we go. There goes the Grand Warden's ability. Just about keeping these balloons up and alive, guys. Another haste spell goes down into the center. Up to 45% so far. We seem to have converged on the center of the base. Can we take out that Archer Queen? Let's find out. Two baby dragons going to float into the center. Eagle Artillery hasn't gone down, guys. Can we grab the Dark Elixir? No. 
this isn't looking too great. It looks like this base was a little bit weird shaped. We've done so much damage to it. Even the Archer Queen is still up and alive. But the Baby Dragon has arrived on the Dark Elixir and it's going to take down, I think, maybe the entire storage. So that worked out pretty well, guys, grabbing me even more Dark Elixir than I first imagined. And there he goes. Wow, props to the Baby Dragon. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to grab the Town Hall, but I'm definitely happy with that, guys. 64%. One star, but we did get 4,000 more Dark Elixir, and the army only cost me a little bit. So, what we're going to do, over the next, I would say, couple of days, we are going to just consistently farm up this Dark Elixir, guys. So, I'm going to build myself a couple of different armies. We're not going to be using any Dark Elixir. going to be using maybe a Bowler. Sorry, a Minor Giant Attack strategy, guys. Seems to work well. Say 20 Giants, 20... No, not 20. Let's drop that to 13. So we got 14 giants, uh, we got ourselves 20 miners, gonna be using some wall breakers and then some wizards. And that's pretty much gonna be my army guys, and hopefully we're gonna brew ourselves some spells, 4 earthquake spells, triple rage and a poison. So that's gonna be my army for the next couple of days, gonna try and get 200,000 dark elixir in the storage guys, so we are ready for the update, and uh, possibly, maybe even upgrade ourselves that final poison spell that's going to cost 150,000 dark elixir so we are going to win this episode here make sure you stay tuned for the second one coming in a couple of hours time do not forget to let me know down below in that comment section guys what town hall level are you and do you have a boat a broken beautiful boat i'll see you shortly peace out